Good morning. Welcome to the podcast of the hymn book, Savior of the World, Abba Father. I am Margaret Newley, author of Another Dimension, uh, The Ultimate Amalgam, Words Collide, Tales of Captain Neutra, and Perfection with Other Dimension into Light. And um, I am also uh, yeah, the, the author of the hymn book, Savior of the World, Abba Father. And also we have uh, Savior of the World, Jesus Christ is Lord, which was released this Easter. And uh, here we are doing the podcast of the hymn book, uh, Savior of the World, Abba Father. We are in the third chapter, and Isaiah 53, and um, which speaks of the prophecy that the prophet Isaiah received of the, of the Messiah, of the suffering servant, of the righteous one. And he, okay, we begin with um, the Lord Jesus, when he was risen from the dead, he appeared to Cleopas and the others. And another disciple, when they were uh, on the road to Emmaus, he said that, Ought not Christ to have suffered these things and to enter into his glory? And so the Lord Jesus Christ suffered in order to... Um, in order to uh, redeem humanity because he had to first of all he became man to enter the situation our condition of humanity and since man had fallen um, uh, because of our uh, Adam's fault and so sickness disease or uh, an all type of evil corruption and death had entered the world so the Lord Jesus came to recapitulate uh, uh, humanity and he suffered uh, the suffering of every man so each and every one of us our sufferings each everything that we suffer in us was our um, were uh, were taken upon by the Lord Jesus. He is the man in whom uh, that includes uh, in whom includes all men. All men are included in Him, and so He lived all of our suffering, so we can come to Him in the time of suffering to find help uh, in time of need, to find mercy and grace uh, in time of need. And so, also when he appeared to his disciples, even the say on the in his resurrection, he opened their understanding that they might understand the scriptures, and and he said, uh, "Thus it is, it is written that Christ uh, ought to have suffered, uh, and then to to rise again from the dead on the third day, and that uh, repentance and remission of sins." Uh, should be preached uh, by his name to all nations beginning at Jerusalem. Amen. And so, um, even Peter uh, on the day, is it on the day of Pentecost? I don't know. One of, uh, he said about uh, that the suffering of Jesus Christ was prophesied by the prophets and that, uh, that Christ should suffer. All oh, Moses and all the prophets, they prophesied, they said, they spoke about the suffering of Christ and that he should rise again on the third day. And he calls upon the people to believe in Jesus Christ, that their sins, their sins may be blotted out, that they, uh, um, at the time of refreshing of the Lord uh, should come from the presence of the Lord, and he shall send us Jesus Christ, who before was preached unto us. Amen. Even Paul speaks of the... He was opening and alleging that uh, Christ should have suffered these things and to rise from the dead and that this Jesus whom I preach unto you is Christ. And he, he also in another place in Acts he speaks uh, before, I don't know if it's Agrippa or any one of the chief priests or one of the governor, is it the governor or someone like that, an authority. Uh, he spoke about Christ, uh, that he, that Christ should suffer these things. He had to suffer and to be the first to rise from the dead, uh, to show light unto the Gentiles, unto the people, and unto the Gentiles. 
so he suffered because humanity was already suffering so he had to enter he did not despise uh, our condition our humanity our suffering he entered he had compassion on us and so paul even in our in philippians he speaks about uh, christ who being in the in the form of god who being equal with god did not count it uh, robbery to be equal with god he speaks of that we should have the mind of that let this mind be in us which also was in christ jesus who being in the form of god thought he not robbery to be equal with god but um he made himself of no reputation he emptied himself and he was uh found in the form of a servant and he was made in the fashion uh, he was made in the likeness of a man and being in fa uh, in fashion as a man he humbled himself and became obedient and uh, unto death even the death on the cross wherefore god has highly exalted him and given him the name that is above every other name that is above all names uh -huh. he humbled himself and he became obedient to this he suffered for the unjust peter speaks of that uh, the lord jesus the just he suffered for the unjust to bring us to god so that um he was he was put in uh he was put uh to death in the flesh but he was quickened by the spirit amen and paul also speaks of um uh okay let's let's speak of the uh he says that uh yeah that was in hebrews hebrews says that uh we look unto jesus who is the author and finisher of uh, of our faith who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross despising the shame and now he sat down at the right hand of the throne of god amen and so um uh, how much more even hebrews the same hebrews says how much more uh the blood of christ who like the lord jesus offered himself by the eternal spirit unto the father he offered himself without spot to god how much more his uh blood shall purge us from our from our dead works to serve the the living the living God who for this cause he is the the mediator of the New Testament that my means of death I uh, for the transgressions of sins that were in the uh, first testament they that are called uh, may receive uh, the promise of eternal inheritance amen for for uh, he took um, uh, or he took the nature of our uh, it behove him for whom are all things and by whom are all things in bringing many sons unto glory to make the captain of their salvation perfect through suffering <laughs> our father yeah we see jesus who was made a little lower than the angels crowned with glory and honor for the suffering of death and that he by the grace of god should taste death for every man for all men for for as much as the children were particles of flesh and blood he also took a part of the same that he might destroy him that had the 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 power the, the power of death even the devil and 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 deliver them that um that uh that their lifetime was subject to uh, the bondage to the fear of death that was subject to the fear of death all their lifetime and so he delivered us from the bondage of the fear of death and um, for this cause he's not ashamed to call us his brethren and also um, for him that is sanctified for he that sanctifies and and they that are sanctified are all of one for this cause he's not ashamed to call us his brethren for he did not uh, take upon him the the nature of angels but he took upon him the the seed of abraham that in all things he he, uh, he might be made like unto his brethren uh, so that he might be a merciful and faithful high priest of things um 
okay, pertaining to God's mere reconciliation for the sins of the people, in that he also uh, suffered being tempted, he is able to, to succor them that are tempted. Abba Father. So he suffered, he's a suffering servant, and also by his stripes we were healed. And the Lord Jesus, when he began his ministry, he said this, uh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me, or oh, the Lord has anointed me uh, to preach the the good news, the gospel to the poor, uh, to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captive, and re recovering of sight to the blind, and excuse me, um, and also to to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. And it's even when the, the disciples of John the Baptist, they came to him and they were asking him if uh, John the Baptist asked if he was the Christ or, or or they should look for another. And then at that same time, he was uh, he cured uh, many of their infirmities and their plagues and of the evil spirits. And also as to as many that were blind, he gave them sight. And he, he answered the disciples of John saying, that um, go and and tell John what you have seen and heard uh, how that um, uh, the the blind see uh, the the gospel is preached to the poor the blind see uh, the lame walk the lepers are cleansed uh, the deaf hear the dead the dead are raised and uh, the gospel is preached to the poor and blessed is he that is not offended in me and so that is what the Lord Jesus has come to do. He has come to, to heal us, to set us free, to all those that are oppressed. He came for these, for, for these, for the suffering, and to, to reverse the, uh, their suffering so that by his suffering, we might be made healed. We might be made whole. We might be healed, Abba Father. And so uh, Peter speaks uh, to Cornelius in Acts that he says that how God anointed uh, Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good, healing um, all them that were oppressed of the devil for God was with him. All of us, see, this is for us that He came. Those that are suffering, those that are the poor, the me, the miserable, the wretched. He came for them. He also said that it's not for uh, the uh, the well-being, the righteous that He came, but for sinners, for them that are lost, uh, for them that are bruised, for them to heal them, to 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 give his life to to save us from all our brokenness and that we should be made whole entire and wanting nothing perfect in Christ Jesus amen and so uh Paul says speaks about uh, when he was talking about his ministry defending him uh saying before the Pharisees when he came to Jerusalem and the people were against him they rose up against him that is the man that troubles uh, the whole world and he, sp he spoke how the Lord Jesus appeared to him on the road to Damascus and and he gave him this mission to open their eyes to open the eyes of the people to turn them from uh, darkness to light from the power of Satan unto God that we may receive forgiveness of our sins and an inheritance um, uh, uh, for all of us uh, who are that we should obtain an inheritance uh, that is um, those who believe uh, uh, in him <laughs> and are sanctified by faith in in him our father and so Peter said that let this or um, that um, Christ uh, suffered for us giving giving leaving us an example that we should follow his steps who uh, had no sin he knew no sin and no guy was found in his mouth when he um, was reviled he did not revile in return uh, when he suffered he did not threaten but committed himself to him that judges justly who in uh, in his own self 
bear our sins uh, up in his own body on the tree that we being dead to sin might live unto righteousness by whose stripes we were healed for we were as sheep going astray but now have returned to the to the shepherd and bishop of our souls amen and so our um, also uh peter uh the lord uh, jesus christ he has he justifies uh the people uh, in this song we have the place where he justifies uh the people and paul speaks of that term um, and that uh, we to, to to them to him that uh, uh, believes that uh, believes on the one that justifies the godly uh, to him his uh, his faith is counted for righteousness uh, to him that works not but believes in the one who justifies the ungodly his faith is counted for righteousness knowing that uh, now in our in Galatians it says that knowing that. Uh, a man is justified uh, not by the works of the law, but by the faith of uh, of Jesus Christ. We too have believed in Jesus Christ that we should be justified by the faith of Jesus Christ, um, uh, because our uh, because by the works of the Lord shall no flesh be justified. So we conclude that a man is justified by faith in Jesus Christ and without the deeds of the law amen and so um he says that all has sinned and we have come short of the glory of god we are freely being justified freely uh by his grace uh that is in uh by faith in in the lord jesus christ whom god has set as purpose as a propitiation um by faith in his blood for uh, to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past are um uh, through the forbearance of God uh, and Paul continued to say to declare his righteousness that he might be just and the justifier of, of him that believes in Jesus. Amen. And so even the Lord Jesus has compassion on us. When he saw the crowd, uh, he was moved with compassion for they fainted and they were scattered abroad because they were as a ship, as a, a ship without a ship a ship without without a shepherd <laughs> and so he's a shepherd and the bishop of our souls and so he healed them and he's a good shepherd the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep that is what he he did and uh, now the god of peace uh, that brought again from the dead our lord jesus christ the great shepherd of the ship uh through the blood of the eternal covenant uh, um, uh make us perfect in every good work to do his will working in us that which is well pleasing in his sight through jesus christ our lord to whom be glory forever amen now the song Isaiah 53 <clears throat> Who has believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? He shall grow up before him as a tender plant, and as the root out of a dry ground. He has no form or comeliness, has no beauty that we should desire him. He is despised, rejected of man, a man of sorrows and acquainted with grief, and we hid as it were our faces from him. He was despised, and, he, and we did not respect him. Surely he has borne our griefs and sorrows. He was wounded for our transgressions. Upon him the punishment of our sins. And by his wounds we all are healed. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous serve and justify many. He shall see the travail of his soul and shall be satisfied. By his knowledge shall my righteous serve and justify many. We all like sheep gone astray. 
We have turned everyone to his own way. Iniquity was laid on him. He was oppressed and taken away. Who shall declare his generation? He was cut up the land of the living. For the sin of my people he suffered. He made his grief with the wicked, with the rich. In his dead cause he did no violence, had no deceit. But it pleased the Lord to bruise him. When you shall make his soul an offering, for sin he shall see his disciples. He shall prolong his days and the pleasure of the Lord shall prosper in his hands. He shall see the travails of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous serve and justify many. He shall see the travails of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge shall my righteous serve and justify many. And he bear the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. And he bear the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. And he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors. And he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors he shall see the trapping of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge and my righteous servant justify many he shall see the trapping of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge and my righteous servant justify many he shall see the trapping of his soul and shall be satisfied by his knowledge and my righteous servant justify many and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors and he bore the sin of many and made intercession for the transgressors have a father thank you lord jesus you suffered for us the just for the unjust that you might bring us to god you were put to death in the flesh and now you are quickened you were quickened by the spirit and we live and move and have our being in you and we are a race together with you thank you for enduring the cross despising the shame now you are seated at the right hand of the throne of god and we are seated together with you thank you abba father for giving us such that's such a great savior he is the savior of the world abba father thank you for watching and blessed with all blessings and now the god of peace that brought again from the dead of our lord jesus christ that great shepherd of the ship through the blood of the eternal eternal everlasting covenant make us perfect in all good things in all things uh, that we are uh, in all things of a father uh, or in every good work uh, working in us that which is well pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ our Lord to him be glory forever and ever amen